Hey everybody, it's Lee here with another video. In this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you my um, overclock settings. So, uh, the motherboard is an Asus P6T uh, SE, and the CPU is an Intel i7 950. Um, so, that processor normally uh, the factory settings runs at just over 3 gigahertz. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get over and above uh, 4 gigahertz. Um, so these are the my current uh, BIOS settings. So you just go to the uh, the uh, AI tweaker and any overclock settings. Just change those to manual. Um, what I'm using is a multiplier of uh, 19 times, and um, you can see the settings here. Um, previously, I normally just run it at 205 um, on the actual uh, uh, the bus frequency, and that gets you about 3.8, 3.9 sort of um, gigahertz. Um, they're the settings that I find that are most um, stable, but you can go over four uh, gigahertz as well. And the only reason I don't normally do that is because if you're doing lots of really heavy CPU intensive stuff, uh, the machine can sometimes become uh, unstable. Um, the other thing to point out as well, you would almost certainly need an aftermarket CPU cooler. If you use the standard one, your CPU will get extremely hot and um, you'll basically reduce the life of your processor, so don't do that. Um, only overclock after you've actually got a aftermarket CPU cooler. Um, I'll talk about my one um, in another video. Um, so in this one, we're just going to increase the uh, uh, bus frequency. It's currently set to 205. Like I said, that gets you just under 3.9. Um, we're going to take it to 211, so it's 19 times um, 211. Um, also, the CPU voltage has changed. We've gone one, sorry, 1.275, um, and that should work well for us. So I'm just going to go exit and save the changes, and we'll go into Windows, and then we'll just do some uh, quick sort of um, tests on it to show how that performs. So that's just going to fire up and take a moment to uh, restart. Okay, so we're just going into uh, Windows now. Okay, great. Um, okay, so sorry, just waiting for the uh, screen to refresh. It looked like it was uh, a little bit funny there. So I'm just going to start the uh, CPU Z. Uh, we'll start the uh, real temp as well. Uh, just to show you that. Okay, so you can see now it's uh, yeah, i7-950. Uh, there's the core voltage. So that's the standard clock speed. Uh, it's 3.07 gigahertz. Uh, you can see down here it's got the core clock, but what I'll do is I'll just uh, fire up an application and that'll basically put some load on the actual processor. Just fire this up, start that. Okay, so this uh, application is wearing away now. Um, and there you can see the core clocks. It's now 4000, which is four, just over four gigahertz. Um, so there you can see the multiplier that I used, which is 19. And like I say, the bus speed, it says here it's 210. Um, when we, we actually set it to 211, so it runs just underneath that. Um, yeah, and that gets us yeah over four gigahertz. So you can see it's running fine. Um, on this side, we've got the real temp uh, reporting the same sort of details, um, and the actual CPU temperatures. The ambient uh, room temperature, if you're interested in that, is 20 degrees. Um, so you can see we're running 50 degrees over uh, the ambient temperature. And when I have done this before with the stock cooler, it runs at like 95 degrees. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend that at all. You definitely need an aftermarket cooler. Or some special kind of a cooling um, there. So yeah, that's it for this video. So just wanted to show you uh, my results. Uh, so yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.